Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy and today I have for you a keto related video and this one is easy keto meal prep. I've discussed this in the past. The things that I meal prep are usually desserts and snacks, also breakfast and lunch. I don't care to go ahead and cook dinner. Again, everybody is home right now in my household. So I don't have a problem cooking dinner as long as breakfast, lunch, and snacks are taken care of throughout the day. Now, when everyone ends up going back to school and work, I'll probably be meal prepping some dinners so that we have easier weeknights. But right now, we're pretty much laid back and relaxed. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. Make sure you hit the notification bell because I'd love to have you. My Instagram name will be right here so you guys can go follow me. I do daily stories over there. I do have a Facebook group that you're going to adore, I promise you. It'll be linked in the description box, so all you gotta do is just click on that. It'll take you right over there. Go ahead and join. You're gonna love it. No keto police and everyone is encouraging. Okay, now let's go ahead and get started and let me show you what I'm meal prepping for this week. If you remember last week, I picked up these snack cups with lids from Walmart. You get 25 in here, and I've been wanting to make the kids some individual desserts to have so that I don't just have like a big sheet pan or cake and, you know, my kids have no self-control and neither do we. So I thought this might help with the situation. This isn't exactly like a no-bake cheesecake, but it does have a cheesecake taste. So. You can do this in bigger containers. I'm using these so I can store them in the refrigerator. You want something for your foundation to put it on and to layer. I'm using the Lolly's granola and, or these are the cookie clusters. It's Lolly's cookie clusters now. I do have a link in the description box if you want to check out any of theirs. But I'm using the carrot cake in this one and it is probably one of my newest favorites. But you can use any keto cookie I'm also using the one-on-one -on -one or O flavorings, and I'm gonna be using carrot cake, but you can use any extract that you want. Cream cheese, sour cream, heavy whipping cream, lemon, and your powdered sugar. So this one is keto-friendly, sugar-free Lakanto. I'm starting with eight ounces of softened cream cheese. And to that, I'm adding half a cup of my powdered sugar, which is the Lakanto, so it is keto friendly. And then I'm going to mix these together. If you want to make this recipe larger, of course, go ahead and double your ingredients. Now that I have that combined, I'm gonna add in my heavy whipping cream, one fourth cup. Next, I'm gonna add in one fourth cup of sour cream, a few drops of lemon juice. I just picked this one up at Walmart because I don't like to keep fresh lemons, but that's just personal preference. Extract of choice, but today I'm using a flavoring. Again, this is the one-on-one -on -one or the O flavorings. I picked these up off of Amazon and this one is carrot cake flavor. I'm just gonna put a few drops of this in there. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and mix all this together again. Go ahead and mix that up until it's completely smooth. Then I went ahead and laid out my individual cups. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the Lolly's granola or whatever cookie that's keto friendly you wanna crumble up and use as one of your layers. Here's what it looks like when I put it on the bottom so you can see about how much I sprinkled in there. Now I'm gonna take a big spoonful of the cheesecake fluff and put in each one of my cups. Okay, here's what it looks like now. And you can see that I got some layers going. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit more of my lollies on there. Here's what it looks like. And then I'm gonna take the remainder of my fluff and add it to the top. I put the last of the cheesecake on top. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of the lollies. Okay, this recipe makes about five little parfaits. I mean, they're not tiny by any means. This is definitely a good size dessert because it's extremely rich. These need to be refrigerated. You can do that for several hours or overnight, but this is what we'll have for dessert a couple of nights this week. 
And I failed to mention you will want to store those with the lids on them so they don't get that film or hard crunchy texture on the top. But here's what they look like. Today I am making some yum yum sauce. We use this for a dipping sauce of a plethora of things. We use it for everything it seems like. But we love it especially for my egg roll in a bowl. I'll have that linked in the cards for you if you want to go check that out. But here's what you need. You'll need some sugar. I use Pure. This is just keto friendly sweetener. Mayo, garlic powder, paprika, sugar free ketchup, one fourth cup of a little bit of warm water, and a tablespoon of butter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my tablespoon of butter in the microwave and melt that. Now to your melted butter, add a tablespoon of keto friendly sweetener. If you do not like your yum yum sauce extremely sweet, you might wanna cut down on this step. Now I'm gonna add in one fourth cup of warm water, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one fourth of a teaspoon of paprika, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and whisk these together so that I can get all of these ingredients not clumpy. You know what I'm saying? You know how garlic powder and paprika can be occasionally? Okay, see how they're all mixed up? Now I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of sugar-free ketchup. I use the G Hughes. Last ingredient is my mayo. We use the Dukes because there's no sugar added in this. It does have inflammatory properties because it has soybean oil as an ingredient, but again, this one is sugar-free. So you're gonna want one full cup and then an additional one-fourth cup. Once everything is added in, I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this all together till there is no more clumps. You know how the mayonnaise clumps up like that whisk till smooth okay that's what it looks like when you're done now this is best if you let it refrigerate overnight if push comes to shove you can't eat it immediately but i like to at least let this refrigerate four to six hours before we eat it it gives a chance for all of these ingredients to combine and it's just a better flavor so this will stay good in your refrigerator probably about a week or so we never really have it that long, honestly, because we're a house of four. This goes pretty fast. Now, all that's left to do is go ahead and cover this up and refrigerate it. I wanted to make some chocolate covered strawberries to have this week. It is probably one of my favorite desserts or little sweet treats to have. All you need, strawberries. Lily's chocolate chips. This is the easiest way to make them and these are the best in my opinion. I just picked these up at Walmart and they're $4.99 for the seven ounce bag. I just poured some of the Lily's chocolate chips in a glass bowl. I'm gonna microwave these for a few minutes until they start to melt. I'll stir them and then replace them back into the microwave till it is a smooth consistency. Okay, here's what my chocolate looks like. Completely smooth and let me show you these strawberries. This is why I wanted to dip these. They're huge. One of these, look at this, one of these dipped in chocolate would be a great dessert for the night and you're gonna get everything you want sweet, plus you're gonna get a little bit of fruit in there. So I thought this would be a great treat for us to have. Okay, here's what they look like. I only made five. We're that family that has to have something sweet or a dessert after every dinner. So this will be dessert probably Monday night, very early on in the week because they are strawberries. So we want them to stay fresh. All I did was use the lilies. We'll put one of these on a plate. Remember, they're about the size of the palm of my hand. These are some huge strawberries. And then I'll add a little bit of the Walmart sugar-free whipped heavy cream to the side of that. And it's a really quick, easy dessert. You get something sweet, it satisfies you. Delicious, you need to try this combo. I am going to be meal prepping some lean ground beef for this week. All I'm going to do is just put this in the skillet. I want it crumbled up because this is for my bacon cheeseburgers in a bowl. That recipe will be linked in the cards for you if you're interested in it, but it's super simple and we'll have this for lunch. On top of this, I am going to sprinkle in some of the Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of the Redmond's real salt. Okay, my beef is done. You can see how fine I like it. I don't like big chunks when I make my bacon cheeseburger in a bowl. 
So now that this is done, I'm just gonna transfer it into my glass container. I'm gonna let this cool for a little while before storing it in the refrigerator. Then when we need a quick lunch throughout the week, Kerrigan, myself, or Chris, we can just put some lettuce in a bowl, then all of our hamburger fixings, and then this on top of it. I'm gonna be making ranch dressing from the Southern Keto Cookbook. This is listed in the description box. If you're interested, check it out. It is one of my favorite cookbooks that's keto. Now, in this book, you have how to make the dressing and also how to make the seasoning mix. I'm not gonna go over the amounts that you need because I feel like Natasha put a ton of work into this cookbook, so you need to order it to get the recipes, but I can tell you the ingredients. Here is the seasoning mix I already made up in advance. Then you're gonna need heavy whipping cream, mayonnaise, I use Dukes, we talk about this all the time. It does have soybean oil, but no sugar. Lemon juice and also sour cream. I went ahead and added in my mayo and sour cream. Now I'm just going to add in the heavy whipping cream, lemon juice, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my pre-made seasoning mix. That's all you need. Now just whisk this together until it is completely smooth and not lumpy. Now I wanted to show you, I made this exactly like it said in the cookbook and I wanna show you how thick this is. What I do is add a little bit of extra heavy whipping cream to this because I like it runnier, like a dressing consistency, like you're putting on a salad. This is more like a dip consistency to me. Then I'm just gonna cover this up, put it in the refrigerator and it's best if you let it set for several hours, of course, because all the flavors incorporate into one another, but this is good in the refrigerator for several days. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.